In the second half of the canon, the first prayer is the unde et memores. The first part is said with hands extended. At the phrase, De tuis donis actatis, the priest joins his hands momentarily, places his left hand on the corporal, and makes the sign of the cross three times over both the host and the chalice together as he says, Hostiam puram, hostiam sanctam, hostiam immaculatam, then once over the host as he says, Panam sanctum vitae eterne, and once over the chalice at calicem salutis perpetue. He then immediately extends his hands for the next prayer, supraque propitio, which he says keeping the hands extended. The next prayer is the supplices te rogamus. Before beginning this prayer, the priest joins his hands and bows profoundly, resting his joined hands on the edge of the altar. Note that even though it is after the consecration, the priest still rests his hands on the edge of the altar, but remembering to keep custody of the thumb and forefinger. In this position, he says the first part of the prayer up to the word, quote, quote. At quote, quote, he separates his hands and kisses the altar, making sure to place his hands inside the corporal. He then straightens and joins his hands momentarily as he says, Ex hac altaris participatione sacrosanctum filii tui. He lays his left hand on the corporal and makes the sign of the cross once over the host as he says corpus, and once over the chalice as he says et sanguinam sum serimus. He then immediately makes the sign of the cross on himself as he says, Omni benedictione celesti et gratia repleamur. Note that his left hand is placed against the breast such that he keeps custody of his thumb and forefinger. The right hand touches forehead, breast, and shoulders only with the tips of the three extended fingers. He then joins his hands and says the conclusion of the prayer, Pereundum Christum Dominum Nostrum. He then makes the remembrance for the dead. He says the entire first part of the prayer from the word memento through to the words in somnopacis without any pauses. While he is saying these words, he slowly extends his hands straight across to the width of his shoulders and then immediately joins and elevates them, raising them to the level of the face and bowing his head slightly. He then pauses and makes his remembrance while looking intently at the sacred host. He does not say the phrase N at N, but waits until after he has said in Somnopachis before making the remembrance. As with the memento for the living, he may remember those for whom he wishes to pray either mentally or by mentioning their names in the quiet voice. He then lifts his head, lowers and extends his hands, and continues with Ipsis Domine. At the phrase, Pereundum Christum Dominum Nostrum, he joins his hands and makes a low head bow to the sacred host. This is the only time when the priest bows his head at a short conclusion which does not contain the holy name. The first three words of the next prayer, Nobis Quoque Peccatoribus, are the only three words of the canon which are spoken in the loud voice. The priest lays his left hand on the corporal and strikes his breast with the right hand as he says in the loud voice, He then immediately extends his hands and continues in the quiet voice. If the saint whose feast is being celebrated is mentioned in the list of saints, the priest makes a slight head bow to the missal when that name is mentioned. At the conclusion of the prayer, he joins his hands. The final part of the canon is the great doxology. The perquem hec omnia begins with hands joined. The priest then lays the left hand on the corporal and makes the sign of the cross three times over both the host and the chalice as he says, Sanctificas, vivificas, benedicis et prestas nobis. He then places his left hand at the base of the chalice, uncovers it with the right hand, and genuflects. He takes the host in his right hand, holding it at the edge. 
He then takes the chalice at the stem with the left hand and makes the sign of the cross over the chalice with the host three times as he says, Peripsum et cum ipso et in ipso. Note that each sign of the cross is made horizontally from lip to lip of the chalice, making sure not to touch the chalice with the host. He then makes two signs of the cross horizontally from the lip of the chalice to himself, making sure not to go beyond the edge of the corporal. As he makes these signs of the cross, he says, Es tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in Unitate Spiritu Sancti. He then holds the host over the chalice and elevates both a few inches off the corporal as he says the words, Omnis Ono et Gloria. He then immediately sets the chalice down, keeping his left hand on the base, and lays the host on the corporal in the center. He purifies his thumb and forefingers over the chalice, covers the chalice with the right hand, and genuflects. With both hands still resting on the corporal, he then says in the loud voice, Per omnia secura seculorum. Amen. Oremus. Precepis salutaris.